Hello there. Welcome back to Selenium Training. In the previous lecture, we learned about how we can count the number of links available on a web page. And also we saw how we can calculate number of links in the photo section. Now in this tutorial, we will cover how we can open multiple links in new tabs and at a single shot. I have selected one website that is the jktourism.jk.gov.in. In this website, there are a number of links and I will be focusing on some of the links. Suppose these are the most popular links uh, as the tourist destinations. So I want to uh, open every each of these links in a separate tab. So how we are going to do that? Let's see in our uh, script. All right. Let me just create one simple cl simple class. In my previous lecture, I have created this folder and added the jar files here. Now I am going to simply create one class to reduce some time. All right, let's name it Opal Links. All right, let us just directly go to the website driver dot get. It won't work. Why? Because we have not invoked the Chrome browser and add some jars so let me just give it the path we have not created any driver object that's why it was giving error let me just import the packages from the jar files if you don't know about this please refer to the playlist driver dot get all right and let me just place the url Oh, sorry All right so now let's first calculate how many links are in the entire website you know for the links there is a specific tag called the anchor tag if we just inspect one uh, website there is an anchor tag let's say if we inspect another website there is an anchor tag so all the website contain one tag that is common for them and that tag is called as the anchor tag let's just check all the uh, links available in the website driver dot find elements because we are going to search for more than one element by dot tag name all right the tag name is the anchor tag and let's just get the size all right that's fine. Let's print it out in our output. Let me just copy it quickly. So this way it will print the number of links available here. Now, now you are having all the links in your console, right? But you want to focus on the photo section because we are going to open these five links here. You can choose any one. The method is the same. If you want to get the all the uh, links of this particular section of this particular foot footer section then please refer to the previous video I have briefly explained how you can get that right now I am going to focus on this particular one so let's just inspect this this is a footer block for this bundle of uh, links let's just verify it here press ctrl F from the keyboard to check it here and let's just create one locator this time we have worked with xpath frequently now let's work with the uh, css selector all right now it has our this is the path of the first one but we want this one right we want the path of this one right so what you can do is here inspect on this particular block so you have here call md6 as a css selector let's replace it all right you see it's highlighting the same section that we need let's copy it here and use this in our script i'll create a web element and let's get another object called footer right driver I'll explain why I use footer driver dot find element by dot CSS selector 
and give it the path that's it here this driver is having the entire scope for the entire website but this footer is having a limited scope that is just in the footer section just to this particular section that's why i have used footer section import the web element all right now the next step is to get the size of this how many links are available suppose we don't know there can be many if the website is updated they can increase or decrease the links so footer dot find now we are going to find elements again by tag name dot tag name and the tag name as we know is anchor tag all right guys if you are facing any issues please mention in the comments dot size this is one method called size right let's print this out let me just cut it and paste inside the print block all right now here you are you have the uh, num you got the number of links in this section all right now now you have to execute each and every link in a separate tab all right one way is to just get the xpath or the look or the xpath or the CSS or anything of the of each and every link and uh, and open it explicitly each and every one but suppose here are hundreds here are 50 you cannot do the execution step by step so you want to execute you want to open the links in a single shot so to do that we will be using one loop let's use one for loop let's not hard code things int i is equal to zero i less than less than i less than we don't know what is the limit of we don't know how many links are available in this section so what we can do is we can just simply copy this footer and first we will tell the for loop just please get the size of the links available in simple terms right i plus plus all right now let's use one string string s is equal to all right first here is one step if you want to open any link right if you click on a link suppose for example i click on this link it is opening one link but it is not opening it in the new tab it is replacing the old tab with the new link now if we do the same in our script it will fail because it will not uh, get the path of the second location or second link uh, where it has to click it will click only on the first location but if we press control from the keyboard suppose you are pressing control and you keep it pressed and click on this link once you do this it will open the link in a new web uh, in new tab if you like choose another link just press control and click on this link it will open it in another tab so what we are going to do is here we are going to tell selenium that please press the control key and open this link in a new tab for that we have one uh, command in selenium uh, which is used to press si multiple keys simultaneously keys is one enum dot cord is there right and what we are going to press we are telling the selenium uh, please uh, hold control right and then enter click means enter right dot enter all right here let me just show you one uh, method all right now our data is our uh, link stored are in the footer let's just click on the footer section footer dot find elements we are finding the elements right by dot tag name and the name of the tag is a all right guys dot get we are getting the value of the i that's in the loop and dot click let's just execute the script okay it will fail but let's see one time why it fails all right
this will give you a brief understanding of what the procedure is so you can implement this anywhere it will just invoke one chrome browser All right, it just clicked on a link, but it did not open a new browser, All right? It did not open a new tab. Why? Let's see the exception here. It is called stale element reference exception because we are, because what the procedure is, we need to click on each and every link. We need to press control on this link. We need to press control and click on this link. We have to do the same procedure for all the links. So the click method will not work right this time, right? So what we are going to use, we are going to footer dot find elements the same by dot tag name, right? The name of the tag is A and get the value dot get I, right? And now we are send, we have to send keys. What we are sending? We are sending S because this S because this string stores the control button and the enter button. We are telling the Selenium to please uh, hold control button and press for each and every link, and that is stored in string. So that is why we need to pass the string here because this holds the uh, keyboard buttons control and enter. All right, guys. Let us execute this script. I'll maximize the browser. For that, we have one simple command: driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. I think you must be easily familiar with these commands. Okay, let us execute the script this time. One Chrome browser will be invoked. The browser is maximized and it is loading the uh, official website first all right you see every tab has opened one two three four five badamwari is the first tab it's taking some time to load this is the official picture this is the badamwari picture now all the five links are opened in new tabs suppose you want to get the title of each and every link that's open in the tag we will see this in the next video all right guys if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing and share among your friends also don't forget to like and comment if you are facing any issues thank you guys and stay tuned for more